This video is sponsored by Sunday Lawn Care Products. Okay, on waters I haven't fished in a couple of years, going back to some of my old spots because, uh, yeah, the, my local stuff uh, right out on the east end of Long Island, not so good for fluke. Um, I'm going to try some old stuff and uh, one other boat out, that's it. Um, we'll see. Forage gulp grubs here. And just the end of outgoing here and then uh, going to have wind against current, but no problem. I'll use the trolling motor. It was windy this morning. It's supposed to calm all the way down. All right, I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. There we go. That's all it takes. Okay, I've got like a pretty stiff breeze with the current, so I've got that drift sock out just to slow the drift down a little bit. Finally, something here. Yep. Yeah, fluke. Doesn't feel terrible either. Huh. Well, I'm gonna swing him, but I think he might be good. And that was not a keeper. Our limit is 18.5 inches. Um, so first drift was about six minutes, produced absolutely nothing, totally barren. I was about six minutes into that second drift, and I got two shorts, so going back up on it. All right, nothing on the first drift, two shorts on the second drift. Focus more on the inner stuff. Here we go. All right. That feels a little better. Just got to find where they're sitting. So I took a pair of scissors to the back of that bucktail and trimmed it so that that gulp tail sticks out beyond the hair. Else, um, if you have really long hair, it can impede uh, the action on that gulp tail. Right on it. All right. in like a minute here. Oh, taking that mark is key. I'm going to live off that spot. And this is eastern Long Island. I'd definitely be measuring them. Yeah, that might make it. And this guy makes it. Alright, it's key. When you measure these guys, you got to have that mouth closed, which is why that's a nice measure. It's got that uh, flat end on it there. Yeah, boat leaks. That's uh, uh, one of the most important parts of my boat there, the build pump. like a good one yep yeah two quick keepers and our bag limit is four and as i mentioned the size limit uh 18.5 inches it's got potential definitely oh yeah oh 
this is the best one yet. Oh yeah, I know that's a nice fish. Okay, right now I'm at three keepers and ten shorts. Ooh, that feels good. That's got potential. And the keepers have been coming on like the last, I think, three drifts in a row here. Oh, I think that's that is just, that's a keeper. I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna swing him, maybe not. I think he is. Well, that's almost for sure. Uh, 19 inch, that's a keeper. Yeah, that's it. That's four. Uh, 126. I'm not sure what time I started, but that's it. Four fish limit. All right, it was just under 90 minutes to get that four fish limit. Um, so this trip is really in two parts here because I had the outgoing with the wind, had to use the drift sock, but uh, as I tidy up over here, um, I'm going to switch over because now the current's coming in. I've got wind against current, which is an awful situation, but it's easy to fight with the trolling motor. All right, now the fishing's really going to get good, and I'm also going to do a gulp test in here. Uh, but before we get to that, uh, I'm going to say a few words about the video's sponsor, GetSunday.com, which is a lawn care subscription service. All right, we'll get back on the water in a minute. Hey, my yard. Um, yep, it needs some help. It's not beyond repair by any means, but you know, it's thin, it's got some weed, and I'm going to tell you about a product that I'm going to use that I think is really going to help me out, and it's going to do it in a way that's uh, friendlier, let's say, than uh, a lot of other things on the market. Yeah, so that's my lawn. So how am I going to fix it? Well, I'm going to use the subscription-based service that is it's less harsh. It's designed with safety in mind, which is important to me. And uh, it's going to give a nice lawn by using mystery-free ingredients like seaweed, molasses, iron. And really importantly, they're going to ship to my door what it is that I need and when I need it. So how is it that they can do that? It starts by typing your address into this website. And from that, they're going to customize a plan based on uh, where it is that you live. And you know, they pull up the data, they can tell me soil composition, rainfall data, all kinds of climate stuff. And from that, um, they're able to determine what it is that I need for my lawn. So it's not a cookie cutter solution. It's, um, it's customized based on science. Now, based on your address, they'll make some projections concerning your soil, but then they'll also include a, t a soil test kit that you can send in, and they'll further customize your plan to meet your exact needs. Okay, and here's the first shipment for my subscription. And looking here, um, I'm going to get three shipments throughout the year, what it is, when I need it. And that's really important to me because if I have to do this on my own, I'm going to forget and I'm probably not going to get the right thing. Um, so it has everything that I need to use uh, at this point, um, any tools that I need to apply it. And that's it. And there's a soil test kit. So I'm going to scoop up some dirt, send that in, and they can further customize the plan and you can get 20% off of this subscription at getsunday.com slash Skinner. So let's take a look at how easy it is to apply this stuff. All right, this couldn't be easier to use. Uh, you put this on the bag, you put that on the hose, and you open this up and you spray and that's it. That's all there is to it. All right, I'm just using the trolling motor to go into the wind, but with the current, but even better than that. Um, Every time I hook up, I'm just hitting spot lock and stopping the boat right where it is, so I'm not losing any ground. And uh, right in this one yeah, spot here. I'm just moving Whoa. a couple of feet, hooking a fish. Move a couple of feet, hook a fish. Huh. <laughs> I should try just putting down on spot lock, but. Yeah, I said that because they just seem to be so stacked right here. It sure is a convenient thing to do, just spot lock it every time you hook up. I'm going to just try that. It's a stupid thing, but it just, I'm not even moving. I'm going a couple of feet. And Unbelievable, huh? Unbelievable. 
I am spot locked anchored and you know what? It's a nice fish. It's a double on spot lock. And the bottom one looks look like a keeper. I'm swinging everything in. All right, I'm gonna try an experiment which I ex fully expect to fail. Um, I have never had any significant success putting scent on a plastic for fruit. But you know what, I've got my limit. I'm catching a lot of fish. It's time to play around. And these things have been, I know people are catching weak fish on them, but that's a different thing. But, and boy, these are great for redfish, but, and yeah, Southern sea trout. But got nothing to lose here. I've got my, my dinner fish. I will give this a fair shot. I'll put the scent on it. Sorry, Salt Strong, I don't have confidence in this, but go ahead, I'll give you a chance to prove me wrong. Try not to get it all over the boat with that oil slick, but I gotta give these guys a shot. I mean, it, I've done very well on their lures, but you know, fluke, they're all about scent and taste, and that's why gulp works and a lot of other things that have tried to match it don't work. I'll be damned. He hit the salt strong and it's a freaking keeper. Oh boy. Well, okay. That is definitely legal. I am definitely over the limit, or at the limit. All right. Somebody on there. Ugh. Fluke swimming with it. <clears throat> well, let's see what he's on. Ah, bucktail and a keeper. Wow, it's two keepers in a row. Nice one. I'm editing out a lot of shorts on this video. That's why it's always a like a surprise when I get a keeper on. Mm, ooh. That's a good one. Oh, ooh, no, he's still on. He's just really bucking. Ooh. Yeah. And you, you gotta credit the bucktail, obviously, for that. That was definitely a keeper, another nice keeper. Got him under the mouth, but. Oh. Get to go back. Well, that's double limit. You know, I'm not really hurting myself leaving this on, so I think I'm going to just leave it on. The funny thing is, I've had three keepers in a really short period of time since I started this little experiment. I'm not saying this had anything to do with it, but there's no reason to stop. But I think. Yeah, uh, Gulp and Bucktail is winning, four to one. Oh. Ah, you poorly executed. Keeper. And 
things on the bucktail and that is definitely in so I I'm, I've moved out a little deeper here and that's what's I mean I'm just slightly out but that is definitely gonna be more than 18 and a half I'll tell you what I wish I had here is there's a light version of the Skinner Jig and Bounce fluke rod that's in production and I smashed the prototype. It was on a boat with a, a bench seat that blew shut on the rod, just, just totally crushed it. And uh, I wish I had that rod because it would have been great for this. It's what it's meant for. It's meant for light fluking, but uh, we'll get that out this summer at JH. I think I probably fouled him. I did not foul him. I hooked him legit. He's a nice fish. That is keeper number 10 for sure. Ooh. Right, I've got 11 keepers. I had one that was off camera. The camera was off. Ooh, and this could be 12. Should be a triple limit. Oh yeah. Yeah, this one's good. The one that was off camera was just like 19 this is better than that unless it's a double which is this is could be a double so much weight there yeah it's a double but it's a keeper on the bottom and a sea robin on the top the second time today okay keeper you can shake off i'm just gonna have to swing all this in huh and that is Keeper 12 with the assist on the sea robin there. Uh, here we go. Let's get you back right away. Uh, all right, so there's a lot of like 18 to 19 inch fish around. All right, so I'm, I'm setting up for my last trip. Just want to show what I've done here. I stayed right, these are my track lines, just burn a hole in the spot, you know, this is where I had made a drift, or it might have been second drift, and I had a couple of fish, and I made that mark, and you know what, the fluking has been so difficult, I was not going to leave fluke to find them, and I just beat this to death, and uh, when the tide turned, it's been wind against current, I put the... Um, trolling motor down trolling motor has not come up you can go five miles an hour with the main motor up current and uh, I've used the trolling motor the whole time with this uh, wind against current situation I don't know how many fish I do know 12 keepers though really something it's the way it used to be all right okay the grand total was 12 keepers 31 shorts and I invite you to check out the video's sponsor get sunday.com's lawn care products and you can get a 20 percent discount there at GetSunday.com slash Skinner with a discount code SKINNER20. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. And check out my online courses at SaltStrong.com slash Skinner. Yep, I'm that little dot down there to the right. And yeah, I've got a new toy to play with here. Still trying to work it out.